Well, what are we fixing today? Today I need to fix something so that I can build something. So the cleanup is starting first. I mentioned it in one of my priors. Um, I got something that's on the bench that's broke. Uh, I need to fix it. So we're gonna fix that and then uh, we'll see what happens after that. All right, let's go over. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go down there. Let's go down there. So here's our problem. Here's the vise. The vise has a thing in here, but it, it doesn't hold. It, uh, I can tighten it and it, does, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't work right. I don't like it. So we're taking that off. We're putting that on. So I know it's just a, a little divisive, but we're going to do it. Dad jokes are us. You know, you know how that goes. Okay, here's the vise. It's held in by three screws. Now these are four inches apart. I believe. Yep. And these are four inches apart. And this is four inches apart. So we'll see how we mount it, but I'm gonna use these two holes. Five and a half. So they don't exactly line up. So we'll see what we have to drill. I'm gonna drill as few as possible. Now these are old tiny square heads, which are cool. I'll use them if I can. But we'll see. Let's see. Yeah, this feels like there's a bolt coming out of a knot. I suspect this one was a leg screw too, but they stripped it out. <laughs> Pulling on it. This workbench I got from an auction 20 to 30 years ago, and it was in somebody's basement for, you know, 40 years before that. So, yay! I just gotta get this one out the rest of the way. Be able to just pull it up. It's indeed a bolt. Here's this. Now this this wants to turn in here. See how that is? This needed to be a bigger something so that it binds against that. It doesn't. This is loose. So this can be fixed. But and this is a V16. V17, no name, V3-4, so yeah, that's a no name, ooh, dirt, the best way to get rid of dirt is, <laughs> it's gone, it'll be, Tomorrow me's problem. All right. Where is this vice? How is this working down here? Make sure this is tight. Enough so that it'll still work. Okay, that's too tight. This should actually have, that should have a wash on. See, this has got a carriage bolt. That's probably what that should have had. So here's this. Okay, but I'm putting a washer under there. It's a metal washer. And it just fits tight around the head. So that if it wants to bind, it can maybe try not to let it bind. It just is the area that the head of the bolt. Right down 
this casting. full tight there. That washer takes up just a little bit of space. It does what I want it to. I have a little bit of grease here. I don't have any down here. Too tight. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Can't go too far because it's going to hit the wood down here. Right? This, this when it comes up, it's going to hit. It can only go so far. That feels nice and solid now. It slides good. All right. All the way this way, and it'll go all the way that way. I don't know if that's what I want. This is the one bolt hole. I can use it here. I can use it here. I can use it here. So I'm thinking that's what I want to do. that washer again. I don't know what the hell good it is, but we're going to put it in there. with that. Now these are leg screws. So I have to drill a hole.
you're wondering. What the hell is this? I made this a while back to uh, build something. And I could use it this way. Or I could use it this way. And in order to use it, take the vise. Alright, like ish. All right, we'll see what I did. Stuck a piece of wood here, a couple of wood there. I need this mounted, solid. Take it and put it there. Tighten this up. Like that. Might have to flip it over, but I don't know. We'll see. Looks like that. Figure out what I make with this yet? This is a broken one, but I make boot bristles. I used to sell them for 25 bucks. I don't know that I'll get that for them now. This is one that was pretty crappy and nobody bought, but I'm going to make some new ones. So, I got this. You probably remembered from cleaning up. Got this bin full of them. I said I got a project for them. This is the project. All right, so we take these. I got these, which are nice little pieces of cut wood. I need to mount this on here like that, the piece of wood behind it, and then drill a hole through it for the bird. All right. Now, the trick is, when you're making these, if you want to get this hole to line up, you make the hole later. So, this goes on the inside of the boot, here, inside the boot, provides a backing, actually going to go down a little bit more. So the piece of wood is, is right here to here, right? And I'm going to take this, put it on there, more or less centered, and then this goes over here. Like so. Now I'm a little worried about this wood. That it's not plywood, so I'm gonna drill a couple little holes in it for screws. Now I gotta drill a birdhouse hole in the middle. I'm pretty sure this is gonna hit the screws, but. Oops. 
think you fell somewhere along the lane. But I drilled out the hole. Now I'm going to put a screw back in that hole. Well, a new hole. When you fell over, sorry about that. Like I so. Here's the inside of the hole. But as you can see, there's a birdie hole. And this kind of holds it open this way. So, then you say, Hmm. Won't it like rain on him? And I'm like, yeah, let's fix that. Recognize this? Some of the ash firewood that uh, we were cutting up in one of the other videos. Well, if I cut a chunk, stick it in the top here, I can cut that on a slope and make a roof. Oof. All right, so we're going to take this over by a chainsaw. We're going to cut off that. All right, so this is the fixture we made in one of the prior videos. I want this. Uh, I suppose I bumped you. I'm sorry. I want this. I want to cut that off somewhere around there. The line. Let's do that. Make it kind of ish square. It doesn't have to be too square though. Alright. Let's pack that up. Now we have our piece of wood. So now Take this, put it in here, put that slope towards the, no, it says I'm going to put the slope towards the front, and I'm going to nail these up, $3.99, and I got this at Goodwill. See, it's just basically uh, posters tax, all different kinds of, and, you know, these are probably from, what, 1930s? East Jeffrey, New Hampshire, USA, W, w Cross Company. Of course, they wouldn't put a date on them. But they are sterilized. Sterilized tax. Why invite eye infection? I don't know what is in here. It's probably not what I want, but I thought it'd be cool to look at. So that's what's in there. That kind of tack. I'm going to use the big knobs. Like at this angle, kind of coming towards the front of the machine, of the house. And this. Into the leather. And straight-ish. Into the wood. And messed it up.
packs are not easy to put in. I don't know how they did it. It's a skill, that's for sure. There. Now a couple here. When they say they're getting out the brass tacks, this is what they're talking about. All right. There's that. Oh, this one's even got a place to clean out the nest. Look at that. So, there's most of it. I'm just going to split the trunk off. This is cedar. Cedar shakes. Alright. And this will go like that as a roof. There. Now I just thicker and thinner. That side up. Like so. Now maybe I can make it decent. I'm going to do this. And instant shorter nails. You too can have shorter, more luxurious nails. Just get out your side cutter and cut them off. So, and then you can lose your nails. Just toss them on the floor into the dust where you'll never find them again. So, now I gotta find a way to hang it. Chain. Mount this on. Now this is suitable for probably a sparrow or something, it would probably work, but it's more decorative than anything. I'm sure you could do some change in here and stuff, but you know what? That's what I used to make and that's kind of what I'm making again. So that's the projects for today, here and here. Well, that's the project for today. Hope you found it interesting. You can change the shape on the front of whatever you want. You know, I've done them with circles and stars and stuff like that. My wife is going to paint that. And uh, then we're going to sell it. So, got a few more of those to make. Um, I'll bring them to the craft sale near me. Maybe not near you. 
but if you have any questions, let me know. Um, give me a like. Likes are great. If you have any other questions, I got contact information below. Uh, leave me a message on what you think of this, on comment on YouTube, that'd be great. Other than that, that's it for today. Uh, whatever you do, don't let your birdhouse fall over. <laughs> Bye.